I'm going to be showing you how to do all the puzzles as well as the location of the data card in Dagobah's Dragon Snake Bog within LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga's Galaxy Free Play. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're going to start off with the first puzzle of Dragon Snake Bog Dagobah. This one's going to be called Welcome to Dagobah, and all you have to do is go behind your ship. It's right out here in the open, one of the easiest kyber bricks in the whole game. Welcome to Dagobah. So next up, we're going to do Feeling Kinda Fungi or fungi, I guess you could pronounce it as. And uh, we're gonna be getting this kyber brick up here behind these vines. And so what you wanna do is destroy the nearby debris, like on the vines and stuff like that. And eventually you'll get this buildable, this multi-build, and you have to build it on the left and right side. The left side's gonna allow you to jump up here, climb on a couple of vines, and pull on this rope, which is gonna remove some of the vines in your way. And then you can uh, rebuild the multi-build on the right side to climb up onto that vine. And that will finally reveal the kyber brick. Then to get to it, you have to build the multi-build in the middle, which will then launch you up to the actual kyber brick. So a lot of different steps to that one. Feeling kind of fungi. So next up, we're going to do Into Exile. I must go here on the top left corner of the map. And there's going to be this ship here. This is Yoda's ship, I presume. And so we're going to open it up with a forced using character. And then inside, there's going to be a gold Lego object. So switch to a bounty hunter character, destroy the gold Lego object, and that will reveal the kyber brick for Into Exile. I must go. Next up, we're going to do putting down roots on the left side of the map, down this little uh, hallway, I guess you could call it. And so nearby, there's going to be one of these brown blocks. So use a forced using character like a Jedi or Sith to put it below the kyber brick and jump up, grab the rope and you'll get the kyber brick for putting down roots. Next up, we're gonna head inside here and get the kyber brick for cooking up stumps. And so we're gonna go inside Yoda's little hut here and we're gonna have to use the force with a force using character on these different objects around the room. So there's gonna be two like little chairs or stumps that you can stack on top of each other and then I usually just put his uh, food on top of that and from there you can just jump on top and that should give you enough leverage to get up here towards the ceiling to get the kyber brick for cooking up stumps. So we're going to head to the left of there for one Yoda's trash dot dot dot. So behind here is going to be another gold lego object so we're just going to switch to a bounty hunter character to destroy that gold lego object and get the kyber brick for one Yoda's trash. So very simple there. Next up, we're going to do the Misty Swamp here, sort of in the middle of the map to the right of Yoda's Hut. And so there's going to be some white Lego objects that we can move with a force using character. We're going to stack a couple of those on top of each other to reach up into these trees. Then we're going to switch to a scavenger character, use their glider ability to glide right over to the Kyber Brick. And if you don't have the glider ability unlocked, you'll need to play through episode 6 or 7. So next up, we're going to do Swing from a Hairy Vine here on the south side of the map. You'll see it up top next to a zip line. So we're going to walk all the way over here and climb up into these trees using the uh, various vines and zip lines. And this is just kind of like an obstacle course, and eventually you'll reach the kyber brick for Swing from a Hairy Vine. Next up, we're going to do Have a Nice Dagobah. And this is going to be right in the middle of the map here. And we're just going to climb up this tree. You'll see that there's a little spot for a net launcher from a scavenger's net launcher. So we're going to go all the way around here up into the very middle of the map. And over here, you're going to be able to reach the spot where you can fire a net launcher with a scavenger character. Again, you have to play through episode 6 or 7 in story to unlock the net launcher ability. Climb up and get the cover brick for Have a Nice Dagobah. So just to the right of there in the very middle is going to be the next one. This one's called One with the Force. This is definitely the most challenging, I would say, or maybe second most challenging of uh, Dagobah. So this is the code. It's going to be V, and then we're going to use the Force to put a little, uh, I think it's like a triangle-looking symbol almost. And then to the right of that, it's going to be a uh, 7 symbol. And the other one's just going to be whatever symbol's remaining, whatever that is. And so that's the solution. If you actually want to solve this yourself, you have to go around the map, find the different uh, statues that have those different symbols on them, look at the corresponding blue flames above it to see you know, which uh, door it corresponds with. But uh, there's the solution right there, one with the force. Uh, so next up, we're going to do find a footing here on the south side of the map. And there's going to be a kyber brick up here in the trees, and there's going to be a nearby peg on the ground. So use the force, the force using character to put that peg into place. Then do a little uh, gymnastics to get up there for the kyber brick for find a footing. So we're just at the base of that tree. You would have noticed a silver Lego object. So we're going to switch to a villain character to destroy it with their grenades. This one's called Luke, what we got here. And once you destroy that, you're going to get a buildable grapple hook switch. So then switch to a character that can grapple, like a hero or 
Bounty Hunter or Astromech Droid. And that will reveal the Kyber Brick for Luke, what we got here. All right, moving right along, we're going to get the data card for Dagobah here on the bottom right side of the map. Once you get back in here, you'll notice it up top, and all you have to do is switch to a grapple character, like a hero, uh, or a bounty hunter, or astromech. Grapple right up to that hook right there, and then climb up to get the data card for Dragon Snake Bog Dagobah. So there you go. So next up, doing Tree Top Tribute here on the uh, top right side of the map. And so this one's going to be up top, and all you have to do is climb this vine right here. And that's literally all you have to do. And he'll get right up there and get the Kyber Brick for Treetop Tribute. So can't get much easier than that, except for maybe that <laughs> Welcome to Dagobah puzzle. Next up, we're going to do Timing and Training. So there's going to be four switches that you need to hit in quick succession, but there's a nearby uh, brown Lego object, which you can put on one of the four switches. Then you should just be able to walk over the other three to get all four switches pushed down within the time frame. Then you'll get the Kyber Brick for Timing Training. So this is the uh, next hardest one, I would say, within Dagobah. This one's called Reflect and Learn. It's not too hard. There's just a lot of different uh, steps to it. And so we're going to go inside this little cave here. I guess this is supposed to be the cave where uh, Luke fought the imaginary Darth Vader. So there's going to be some light beams. This almost reminds me of like a uh, Legend of Zelda puzzle or something like that. So use the Force the force using care to put the mirror on this movable object. We're going to rotate it over here, except there's going to be a wall in the way. And uh, so what you have to do is there's going to be a little Lego object blocking a hole in the wall, which you can shine the light through. So right there, I destroyed it. So now we're going to aim this object so that the light goes through that small little hole in the wall, which is going to connect to another one of these uh, reflecting objects. So we're going to move that around over to the next uh, pink or red door. And that's going to reveal a, another Lego object mirror that we need to attach to another one of these uh, rotating movable objects. So we're just going to move this into the middle here. And once we get it into the middle, we're going to continue to pick it up and move it all the way back here into this one rotating platform that does not have a mirror attached to it yet. So once you get a mirror attached to that one, we need to actually shine some light on it. So we're going to rotate this one over so that uh, some light reflects onto it. And from there, we can finally move this over and unlock the pink door with the Kyber Brick behind it. So yeah, a lot of different steps to that one, but uh, you know, just keep moving stuff around, reflecting light on the different red or pink doors, and you'll be good to go for Reflect and Learn. And last but not least, the vehicle token is called Stinky Sinking. This is going to be out in the middle of the water here. So you have to use a force using character to move some of these Lego objects into place. Or you can do what I'm doing here and just uh, do it without moving anything. You can reach the vehicle token for Stinky Sinking. And look, look at that, I barely made it uh, without falling into the water. But yeah guys, that's going to be all the puzzles as well as the location of the data card for Dragon Snake Bog within Dagobah within Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga. So let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Like this video if you enjoyed it, dislike it if not. Subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games.